How is it going, everybody? You're watching the About Tech, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to transfer any file from your iPhone to your Windows PC and vice versa as well, so from your PC to your iPhone. And the coolest thing about this process is that you don't need to download anything, so it's completely free and you don't even need a cable. The process is 100% wireless, updated to 2023 and to iOS 16. So let's get started. So as I said, the process is super simple and the reason why is because we're gonna use iCloud to transfer any files from our iPhone to our Windows PC. And when I say any file, I do mean it. You can transfer photos, videos, documents, music files, you name it. Anything that's here on your iPhone can be transferred to your PC and vice versa, okay? So let's start off transferring from the iPhone to the PC and then I'm gonna do the all the way around so I got you covered, all right? And for this, we're gonna use the Files app. This is how we're actually gonna use iCloud to transfer those files, the Files app. And it's actually super easy to access those files on the computer, you see it in a second, okay? So, let's say I wanna transfer a photo and a video from my iPhone, and I'm gonna take them right now. So I'm gonna open up my camera, just to show you that there are no gimmicks or anything like that. I'm gonna take this photo right here, I'm gonna go to video, and I'm gonna make this quick video, as you can see of the table, yeah, all right, that's it, okay? So, as you can see, a photo and a video that I just took. And if I wanna transfer that photo and video to my PC, all I have to do is open up my photos, and then I have them right here. I can select both of them, and then share. And remember when I said we're gonna use the Files app? That's it. You can scroll down and save to files. And keep in mind that you can do this on any file on your iPhone. So then if you have a file on WhatsApp, you can save your files. On your iMessage, anywhere, you can just go ahead and put it to your files. And that's how we're gonna use it, okay? So let's save to files, as you can see. And my recommendation here is that we actually create a folder just to make our lives easier, okay? So you can come back, you can come back here all the way back, okay? and until you see iCloud Drive, okay? So iCloud Drive is like your first page. It's like your file's first page in iCloud. So what you can do is simply tap here on the three dots and then new folder, okay? So we're creating this new folder to make our lives easier. And then you can name this new folder Transfer PC, okay? Transfer PC, and then tap on Done. So then the folder is empty, of course, we just created, and then we have the two files right here. You can tap on save right there and save. So we have just created the folder inside, right here, the files app. So it's going to iCloud, so the iPhone part is over. We have already uploaded those two files to iCloud. Now, what we have to do is actually retrieve those files, get them right here on our PC. So. Let me show you how you can do that. All right, here on the PC, all you have to do is open up your favorite browser. You can use any browser. I'm using Google Chrome here, but you can pick your favorite one. And then we're gonna go to iCloud.com. That's it, iCloud.com. And of course, this is an Apple website. This is the official iCloud website from Apple. And that's how you can actually access any of your iCloud information straight from your PC because you can access through your browser. So this is a very cool service that's been around for ages and I really love it, all right? So iCloud.com, you can go ahead and tap on sign in. And of course, you're gonna need to type in your username, your email and your password. That's how you identify yourself, all right? So then type in your Apple ID, email and password. And then of course, just go ahead and continue. So let it load. And right here, if you have two factor authentication, uh, you're gonna need to type in your six digits that you got on your phone, okay? Or on your Mac, whatever. So go ahead and type it in. If you're doing this on your personal computer, you can trust this browser. So it's up to you to trust or not. I'm gonna trust and let it do its thing, let it load. And then it's gonna come back with your iCloud information. As you can see, welcome back, Daniel. And right here is everything that's on my iCloud. So even my mail, my notes, absolutely everything. But of course, the focus of this video is to transfer files, right? So we can go ahead and take a look at our drive. As you can see here, drive all files. So let's go ahead here and click on drive. Let it load, it's gonna load once again. 
And then, as you can see, it's going to show you all your files in your iCloud Drive. It's going to open in the Recents tab right here, and we can already see our photo and our video. So straight from here, you can already save it, open it up, take a look, do whatever you want. Or, of course, you can just tap on Browse, and then you can go to the folder we created that we separated everything, we organized everything, remember? So within our iCloud Drive, you can take a look at the Transfer PC, the folder that we have created, and then we have right here the photo and the video. Uh, one thing that's super important is if you go ahead and you put a ton of files right here on your iPhone in the Files app, and they don't show up immediately on your PC, that's because those files are still uploading to iCloud. And to see when they're actually done uploading, you can see this information right here. So as you can see, synced with iCloud. So this information shows us that it has already uploaded and synced. So that's why our photo and video are right here in iCloud and we can access them from the PC. So as you can see, photo and video and if you want to simply download them super easy click on the file that you want to download and if you want to select multiple you can press the shift key on your keyboard and then click on the other ones as well so i have selected both as you can see click here on the download button okay download and then it's gonna it's gonna download right here both files and then of course just open up your files explorer and then go to downloads and the files will be right here the photo which i can double click and it's going to load the photo as you can see we just took and perfect quality absolutely great great no quality loss whatsoever and of course same thing with the video as well okay you can open it up and it's right here downloaded perfect quality it's in high definition now for the second part of the video how can i actually transfer from the pc to the iPhone and it's so easy because we already have iCloud open, iCloud Drive open and we're already in the correct folder. We are in the transfer PC folder that we have created. So it's so easy because we can simply drag and drop any file in here. So I'm gonna do it right now with you, okay? So as you can see, uh, this is the window with my iCloud and I have here this folder with uh, some files. So let me go ahead and open it up. I have this image right here. So all I have to do is drag and drop. And as you can see, it's gonna instantly upload the file. So let me just maximize once again. It's uploading as you can see, and it's done. It has already finished. It has already finished uploading. So then if I go ahead and grab my iPhone, and I'm gonna grab my iPhone right here, as you can see, it's already here. It's already syncing and downloading. And take a look at this, how easy, seamless, and perfect this is. So as you can see right here, and that's how you do it. And please keep in mind that, as I mentioned, you can use this for any file that you want. So not only for photos and videos, but for documents, for absolutely anything. If you actually come back here to my iCloud Drive, as you can see, I have all their documents right here. I have spreadsheets. So absolutely all of my files are in the drive and I can access from my iPhone, from all of my Macs, my iPads, and of course, from any PC as well. So then that's how you do it. That's how you actually transfer any file from your iPhone to your PC and vice versa for free, wirelessly, super updated and super easy. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye bye guys.